Welcome to the advanced tutorial on how to effortlessly build a deck from scratch using the Red X Decks app. Begin by selecting the Draw Deck from Scratch option. Once you're in, press the Draw Deck button located at the bottom and start sketching the perimeter of your deck on the screen. Should you make a mistake, you can always press the Undo button located in the top right corner of the screen. An Auto Complete button will appear at the bottom when the app detects a viable path to close the perimeter. Press it to automatically complete the perimeter. Upon completion, you'll observe that the app automatically generates the deck with the default settings. However, you still have the option to edit the shape of the deck after the perimeter is established. Simply tap on one of the perimeter lines and move it to your desired location. To input a specific measurement, tap on the measurement number and input the exact measurement. The app will adjust one of the corners accordingly. To straighten that line once more, tap on the deck and adjust the corner circle and the line will automatically snap into place. Once you're satisfied with the shape, we can proceed to the next steps, which include adding floor beams and connecting sections to the house wall. Press the Manage Layers button in the bottom right corner of the screen and let's hide the deck boards. And you will see there are structural errors because there are no floor beams. There are two main ways to fix this. The easiest is to let the app automatically generate the floor beams locations based on these five deck properties. The joist spacing, total deck load, joist material size, and joist material grade. To edit the deck properties, tap on the deck once and press the deck properties button. From here you will see all properties of the deck. You can edit them to meet your specific requirements or leave it at the default values. At the bottom, you will see the joist maximum span number based on the current deck properties. Great! Let's press the Auto Generate Beams button and watch as the app automatically places the beams in optimal positions. If you prefer to manually add floor beams, I will undo the Auto Generated Beams, then tap on the perimeter line to show the action buttons. You can add a dropped beam, double up the rim joist, connect it to a wall, or add a wall below. Let's connect this section to a wall. If we now switch to 3D mode, you will see the wall we just created. Switching back to 2D, let's add a dropped beam on the other side to support the joist. And on this one, we will double up the rim joist. In the middle, you will see that there is still a structural error, indicated by the red X. Tap on it to add a custom beam, set the beam properties, and then tap the Add Floor Beam button you will see that the app has added the beam and the structural error is gone. You might have noticed how the joist colors have been changing. These colors indicate the structural integrity of the joist. Green for optimal, yellow for normal, and red indicates we are approaching the maximum span. For a practical example, let me select this perimeter line and move it down. You will observe the colors change. If you prefer not to see this, simply open the Manage Layers panel and hide the joist structural errors. Great, let's go back into the 3D mode to see what we have built so far. Now let's dive into more specifics and adjust the joist directions and deck board angle. Allow me to reset my deck build by tapping once on the deck and pressing the Auto Generate Beams button. Then tap on the deck level again and press the Deck Properties button. Let's scroll down to the deck board settings and we will edit the deck board angle to 45 degrees. You will notice how the app applies these changes instantly. The deck board angle is set relative to the joist direction angle. To illustrate this, if we change the joist direction to 0 degrees to have the deck joist placed horizontally, you'll notice the deck board angle adjusts to align with the deck joists. Let's hide the deck boards to observe the joist direction changes. Notice our floor beam is no longer supporting anything, so let's press the Auto Generate Beams button again to regenerate the floor beams. Perfect, that looks better. Let's add a second deck level. I will zoom out a bit, press the Draw Deck button, and create a basic rectangular shape, then press the Auto Complete button again. To move the new deck level, tap it once to highlight it, and then move it to snap it to the other deck level. If we switch back to 3D, you will see both decks are still at the same height. Let's fix that. Switching back to 2D, tap on the new deck level, enter into the deck properties, and we will set the deck rise to 7 feet. 
While we still have the deck selected, let's press the Auto Generate Floor Beams button to generate the deck's structure. Switching back to 3D, now you will see the deck's rise has been updated. To view the cut list, open the Manage Layers panel and let's hide the deck boards to reveal the joist labels. Then tap on any deck level and press the Show Cut List button to view the deck's cut list. If you would like to export the cut list as a CSV file, press the blue Export Arrow button. You will also see the cut list and material list on the PDF that you can print, export, or email. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more quick guides on using the Red X Dex app. Don't forget to explore our other apps like Red X Stairs, Red X Roof, and Red X Walls for all your construction needs. Thank you for watching and happy deck building!